Carrie Lam as Chief Executive of Hong Kong, the administration of Carrie Lam as Chief Executive of Hong Kong, or Lam Administration, officially referred to as the fifth term Chief Executive of Hong Kong, relates to the period of governance of Hong Kong since the transfer of sovereignty of Hong Kong headed by Chief Executive Carrie Lam between 1 July 20. The Hong Kong government established the office of the chief executive elect ahead of the election with a controversial decision to cite the temporary office in Hong Kong's most expensive business area in Champion Tower on Garden Road, Central. Lam supported the returning officer's decision that had been made in accordance with the Rural Representative Election Ordinance. In July 2018, the Hong Kong police force unprecedentedly served the convener of the pro-independence Hong Kong National Party Chen Ho Tin a notice under the society's ordinance and sought to ban the party. Upon returning to Hong Kong after a visit to Bangkok, Mollet was denied a working visa by the Hong Kong government. The proposed co-location arrangement of the Guangxia Shenzhen Hong Kong Express Rail Link has sparked concerns that it might constitute a breach of the Hong Kong Basic Law and undermine Hong Kong's autonomy of one country, two systems, participially with immigration control. Carrie Lam responded to criticism by stating some Hong Kong legal professionals have an elitist mentality or double standards, that is, they think that Hong Kong's legal system is supreme, and that the mainland legal system a big country with a 1.3 billion population is wrong. Her statement prompted widespread disbelief as she appeared to defend China's legal system being better than Hong Kong's legal system. Hypocrisy as she herself is seen as in a light out of touch with society damaged the one country two systems principle and for attacking the character rather the arguments of Hong Kong's top lawyers. Three human rights groups, the Amnesty International, Hong Kong Human Rights Monitor, and Human Rights Watch opposed the bill warning the extradition proposal could be used as a tool to intimidate critics of the Hong Kong or Chinese governments, peaceful activists, human rights defenders, and putting those extradited at risk of torture or ill treatment. Amid the clashes, Lam appeared in an interview where Lam was in tears when she was asked if she betrayed Hong Kong. I grew up with all Hong Kong people and my love for this place has prompted me to make many personal sacrifices. Instead of selling out Hong Kong, she said her husband had told her that after she became chief executive she had sold herself to Hong Kong. A 5D8-5X27 